So how do you sell a, a property in probate? So it really depends on the state that you're in. For example, I practice primarily in Florida and in Tennessee. In Florida specifically, we have what's called homestead. So the homestead is a person's primary residence. They live there the majority of the year. They get a tax exemption. Uh, and there's a lot of benefits that come to that. Uh, apart from the tax exemption, for the most part, creditors can't touch the property. Um, so a lot of great things. But you still, even though, and so it's not a probate asset, so homestead is not a probate asset in Florida. However, you still have to go through probate process uh, generally in order to transfer the property to the new owners, to the beneficiaries. So um, you'll go through the probate process and at the end, the judge is gonna sign uh, generally a document which is called order determining homestead. And that order, is gonna say who the new owners are, who the beneficiary, beneficiaries are, who are now the owners of that property. And that order is basically the new deed, it's the new title, it says who the new owners are. We record that and that's gonna update in, on the property appraiser's website, on the tax roll and show those new owners. Once the judge signs that piece of paper, that, that property is no longer in probate meaning whoever are the new owners, they're free to sell the property as if they would sell any other piece of real estate. They don't need court approval. They don't need an attorney, uh, probably, you know, they, they don't need a probate attorney or anything like that. They're free to sell it. So for homestead property here in Florida, generally we're not gonna be able to sell that property within the probate because homestead has some unique, unique, unique rules and laws that says it's not a probate asset, so it's gonna be sold outside of probate. But if it's a secondary residence, if it's a non-homestead property, if it's uh, an investment property or maybe just a second property that the person you know, lives in part-time and it's not their primary residence, then we will be able to sell the property in probate. And so what we would do is we would, again, depending on the circumstances, uh, what we'd probably do is order an appraisal on the property. We'd, we'd locate a realtor. Uh, we list the property. Once we get the contract, once we get the as-is contract, then we're gonna present that contract to the judge. He or she's gonna review it, approve it, hopefully. We sell it. That money's gonna stay within the probate case in a restricted account until the end of the probate, and we've dealt with creditors and everything like that. And then that money would be distributed to the heirs, to the beneficiaries in that probate itself. So. Homestead, we're probably not gonna be able to sell it within within the probate itself. If it is a non-homestead property, then we are. And the only the main difference is we have to get court approval. And the reason the court wants to see it is they wanna make sure that, you know, maybe you or the person as the executor isn't, you know, buying it themselves at a very low price, which, uh, you know, is, is not advantageous to the other beneficiaries or you're trying to sell it to a friend and they're giving you a low ball price. They wanna make sure it's a fair contract, that there's no you know, shady dealings going on so that it's a you know, fair deal for all of the beneficiaries. Um, relatively simple process so long as, as, as long as everybody gets along.